If you're a serious competitive gamer and you are looking to gain every advantage possible over your competitors, one hardware upgrade you might want to consider is the 240Hz monitor. The insanely high refresh rate may not be as advantageous for the casual PC gamer, but for rising as sports gamers, the faster refresh rate could mean the difference between winning and losing. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 4 best 240Hz monitors that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number 4, we have ViewSonic XG2431. The ViewSonic XG2431 was the first gaming monitor to receive the Blur Buster's approved 2.0 certification for its pure XB backlight strobing technology which implies superior performance, firmware updates, and more. Design-wise, the ViewSonic XG2431 come at 21.3 by 9.4 by 20.5 inches in size and has a fully ergonomic stand with up to 120mm height adjustment, 15-degree tilt, 90-degree swivel, 90-degree pivot, and 100 by 100mm VESA mount compatibility. For connectivity options include two HDMI 2.0 ports, display port 1.4, a headphone jack, two 3-watt integrated speakers, and a dual USB 3.0 hub. Panel-related specifications include a 400-nit peak brightness, a static contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, 8-bit color depth support, 1 milliseconds GTG response time speed, and the standard sRGB color gamut. So, you're getting the same viewing experience as with the other 1080 pixel 240Hz IPS gaming monitors. It's when we get to its impeccable MBR performance that things start to get interesting. The ViewSonic XG2431 supports AMD FreeSync with a 240Hz VRR range and offers stable VRR performance with NVIDIA cards. Other gaming features are pretty standard and include pre-calibrated picture presets and black stabilization for better visibility in darker games. Its main feature, of course, is the Pure XP backlight strobing technology approved and pre-tuned by Blurbusters, who popularized and helped develop motion blur reduction in gaming monitors. Backlight strobing on 240Hz monitors is most efficient when the display is set between 100Hz and 144Hz as there's less strobe crosstalk than at 240Hz. It also supports strobing from 60Hz up to 240Hz and offers plenty of customization, allowing you to tune it just right for your preference. Note that a 240Hz monitor will have better MBR performance at 144Hz than a 144Hz display strobing at 144Hz, so the monitor's high refresh rate isn't going to waste here. What's more, thanks to the monitor's high peak brightness and vibrant colors, the image quality will also be excellent. At number 3, we have BenQ Zoe XL 25-4-6K. BenQ Zoe gaming monitors are often the choice of professional players and various esports tournaments. There are good reasons for that too. Design-wise, the BenQ Zoe XL 25-4-6K come at 7.88 by 20.59 by 22.48 inches in size and weight at 13.67 pounds. The fully ergonomic stand with up to 155mm height adjustment, 23-degree tilt, 4-5-degree swivel, 90-degree pivot, and 100 by 100mm VESA mount compatibility, which takes very little desk space. For connectivity options include three HDMI 2.0 ports, display port 1.2, and a headphone jack. When it comes to features performance, the BenQ XTEL 25-4-6K is based on a TN panel with inferior image quality and narrower viewing angles in comparison to IPS panels. Well, it's mainly due to its exclusive gaming features, most importantly in the dynamic accuracy plus backlight strobing technology. This motion blur reduction implementation is much better than that of most monitors. First of all, it has a minimal picture brightness toll allowing you to enjoy a bright picture quality. Secondly, there's minimal strobe crosstalk up to 180Hz strobed, so there won't be any prominent double images or other distractions. Indeed, the XL 25-4-6K resembles CRT displays when it comes to motion clarity due to the absence of motion blur, trailing and overshoot paired with low input lag. Other gaming features include the S-Switch device which allows you to remotely make some quick adjustments to monitor settings, black equalizer to improve visibility in darker scenes, free sync up to 240Hz and color vibrance for color saturation presets. There's also the XL setting to share feature which allows for easy import or export of the monitor's settings among users. So, should you get the XG2431 or the XL25 4-6K? 
The main advantage of the XL254-6K to is that it can get brighter while strobing over 300 nits, while the XG2431 is limited to 200 nits. However, it has inferior color quality and viewing angles, and it's $200 more expensive. So for most people, we'd recommend the XG2431. At number 2, we have Asus ROG Strix XG27 AQM. The XG27 AQM uses a quantum dot-enhanced IPS panel by AUO with a wide 99% Adobe RGB gamut for lifelike colors. There's also a 100% sRGB clamp should you wish to view SDR content with accurate colors. While the Asus model offers punchier colors than the Samsung G7 coming up next, it has a notably lower 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, so blacks won't be as deep. Further, it has a lower 400 nit peak brightness, which is more than enough for SDR content, but the HDR viewing experience is not as immersive. The XG27 AQM has VESA's entry-level display HDR400 certification. The 1MS pixel response time speed efficiently eliminates all trailing behind fast-moving objects. You can even overclock the monitor up to 270 Hz and use FreeSync and G-Sync compatible for tier-free gameplay up to 270 FPS. There's also a backlight strobing technology called ELMV Sync available that allows you to use VRR and MBR at the same time. Other features include various picture presets, shadow boost, a refresh rate tracker, RGB lighting, and on-screen crosshairs. The XG27 AQM has more vibrant and consistent colors, wider viewing angles, and smooth VRR performance with a well-implemented optional backlight strobing technology. The Odyssey G7 has a higher contrast ratio for deeper blacks and no IPS glow, but due to the narrower viewing angles, some gamma and saturation shifts can be detected when watching the screen at certain angles. Further, variable refresh rate can introduce some micro-stuttering, depending on the game and frame rate. The Asus XG27 AQM monitor offers a good range of ergonomics with up to 100mm height adjustment, 90-degree pivot, 25-degree swivel, up to 20-degree tilt and VESA mount compatibility. Connectivity options include two HDMI 2.0 ports, two DisplayPort 1.4 inputs with DSD support, a headphone jack, and a dual USB 3.0 hub. Next up at number one, we have the Samsung Odyssey G7. The Samsung Odyssey G7 is a 1440p 240Hz display based on a curved VA panel with a high contrast ratio, wide viewing angles, and vibrant colors. It's available as a 27-inch mode and as a 32-inch version. On 27-inch monitors, the 1440 pixel resolution provides a high 108 ppi pixel density, resulting in crisp details and text, plenty of screen space, and no necessary scaling. If you're more interested in the 32-inch model, keep in mind that 1440 pixel on 32-inch monitors have the same pixel density as 24-inch 1080 pixel displays, so you'll get the same amount of screen space and details but because the screen is bigger, the image quality will be more immersive. Moving on, the Samsung G7 has a high static contrast ratio of 2,500 to 1, which results in significantly deeper blacks in comparison to IPS and TN monitors. Best of all, in addition to its wide 95% DCI-P, three-color gamma and wide 178-degree viewing angles, you also get a high peak brightness of 600 nits, so the image quality is a lot more immersive. It's also one of the rare VA panel monitors with a rapid 1 MSGTG pixel response time speed. So, you won't get any ghosting or smearing usually associated with VA displays. MBR is supported, but just like with all monitors mentioned in this guide, except for the View Sonic XG2431 and the BenQ XL254-6K, to the strobing is not well optimized as the overdrive is locked to fastest, which is the most aggressive mode. So, unless you can maintain consistent 240 FPS, you'll get double images with fast-moving content. Regardless, its GTG performance is very good, so you don't have to rely on MBR for smooth gameplay. The Samsung G7 has AMD FreeSync Premium Pro as well as NVIDIA's G-Sync compatible certifications. Other features include the standard gaming utilities such as custom crosshairs, pre-calibrated picture presets, and black equalizer for better visibility in darker games. The design of the monitor includes a very aggressive 1000R screen curvature for added immersion, while the stand is sturdy and offers a good range of ergonomics including up to 120mm height adjustment, 15-degree swivel, 13-degree tilt, 90-degree pivot, and 100 by 100mm VESA mount compatibility. In order to reach 240Hz at 2560 by 1440 pixel with 10-bit color, 
You will need a graphics card that supports Display Port 1.4 with display stream compression such as AMD RX series or NVIDIA's RTX 20 series or newer. If you have an older graphics card, you'll still be able to reach 240 Hz at 1440 pixel, but only with 8-bit color depth. You can also drop the refresh rate to 104 to 4 Hz for 10-bit color. Connectivity options include two Display Port 1.4 ports, an HDMI 2.0 port, a headphone jack, and a dual USB 3.0 hub. 